About 57 seconds there or thereabouts. And I think it's going to be an enthralling race. Hedda Heiner of uh, uh, Norway, and then we've got Bissett of uh, Australia. A great season last year, the Australian. Those two sharing a lane. And inside Bissett will be the Olympic silver medalist Keely Hodgkinson. Chased Atting Mo home and Atting Mo won the US Championships. Keely opted to run the 400 meters at the British Championships. And ran a new personal best day in lane eight on a windy day, so speed work all in place. But she might need it tonight. Two Americans shared lane five. Brooke Feldmeyer, who's uh, had two, three big personal bests, is now coached actually by the same coach, Trevor Painter, as Keely Hodgkinson. Uh, Herta, who missed out on a place in the, what was a very tough US championship, so Herta and Feldmeyer sharing lane five. Then we've got Nakai going inside in lane four, lane to herself, because of course she is the world champion. Lavisa Lind of Sweden. Starting to get back uh, last year or so in the sort of form she showed three or four years ago. She still might find this a little bit quick here. And this is the athlete I think Keely Hodgkinson will be concerned about. Mary Mora moved up to the 800 from 400 metres, can still, though, as she did the Kenyan Championships uh, last week, turn in a great 400. She not only won the 800 metre title against Faith Kip Yegon, she came back the next day and ran sub 51 seconds for 400 metres. She's very strong in the last 50, whether she's running 800 or whether she's running 400 metres. The African junior champion at 400. She's got a great future ahead at 800, and she's taking on the Olympic silver medalist here. Keely Hodgkinson in lane six, Mora in lane two, women's 800 meters. Mora started a little bit slowly, and inside her, the South African who started her season very well, Segodiso, has started pretty quickly, but look at Mora, just changed pace. She's got a very upright action as well, drops that left arm of hers quite a bit as well so she's not got the best technique necessarily but goodness me is she quick and is she strong and uh, Keely Hodgkinson just sitting off the pace let Billings go to the front the Australian and Mora almost has to jog to let the pacemaker go past her and now the race really on but Mora sitting right behind the pacemaker well I'll tell you what Steve that was almost a bit dangerous for Mora she pulled up dramatically there to let Billings pass nobody went into the back of her fortunately but uh, it was quick it still is pretty quick I think sensibly fast this one. Hodgkinson nicely poised, but yes, this is a big clash against Mora, the Kenyan champion. Keely Hodgkinson has just let her to come between her and Mora. And Keely Hodgkinson's getting caught in the pack a little bit. It's not like her. She normally races very smartly, and I'm not sure, given the Kenyan, that sort of space is that, that good here. Billings actually should have stepped off on the inside there, and Mora got dragged outside, has to go around Bissett. Keely Hodgkinson. Got to find a way out there. Nakai just gives her a little nudge to say, keep you in there. But Keely Hodgkinson now extricates herself. But it's Mora in front with 200 meters to go. And she's beginning to put a foot down. Who's going to have the speed? Who's going to have the strength in the home straight? It's Mora against Hodgkinson. The Olympic silver medalist trying to take on this brilliant Kenyan talent. Mora often looks as though she's spent, often looks as though she's got nothing to offer. But she is so strong in the last 50 meters, as indeed is Keely Hodgkinson. And now Mora kicks again, and away she goes. Keely Hodgkinson's got no response at this moment. Nakai trying to finish quick. Hodgkinson is going to move into second place. It's just closing slightly, but it's going to be a big, big, big win for Mary Mora. 157-69. And if we didn't know she was a danger at the World Championships already, she's just underlined her talent, her ability, and her tactical nous as well. I haven't seen anybody, Tim. I've watched two, three of her races. I watched the Kenyan Championship. She ran away from Faith Cape Yegon in the last 50 metres, just as she did from Keely Hodgkinson. She moved away in the 400 metre final in the last 50 metres, uh, having already run the 800 the day before. And just look what she's done there. That was very impressive. Well, it was. Keely Hodgkinson had a busy old race to get onto her shoulder with 100 to go, and I thought it looked fine, but Marat kicked. She changed gear dramatically with about 90 to go, kicks away, wins that three metres or so, and was never going to be caught. Keely finishes strongly. Good run from Bissett there back in the third place, I think it was. But uh, yeah, Hodgkinson and uh, coach Trevor Painter, that's probably just the kick up the backside they need. 
She's uh, beaten by three metres there, and Marat, a lot more powerful down the home straight. Keeley, to be fair, is still learning her trade, Steve. She ran an untidy race. She was in real trouble going into the back straight. She had to push to get off uh, into a decent position with about 300 to go, and uh, that was busyness that she could have done without. Yeah, you just have to recognise the danger, and at the bell, she had the chance to get close to Marat and let her to come round her, and then she had to, as you said, extricate herself after that. Had a bit of work to do. Couldn't catch her in the home straight though. 157, 68. Very good running from the Kenyan. Olympic silver medalist had to settle for second there. Well, back to this high jump. And Elena Patterson, second attempt at 196 in this women's high jump. So Patterson, already big season's best in this competition. Oh, that's big. That's a lovely big jump again. She generally.